Uh, anyway, um, so yesterday I went to a regional and did pretty well. And uh, if you saw on Facebook, I got this super cool bougie mat. Um, but I look really disgusting right now because I woke up and I have to go to church soon. So I thought I'd make a quick video because I am cool. But, oh, I thought um, there's some edits. It's, I actually forgot. I lied to Doug about my deck list. So I just wanted to feel cool, but he's going to find out anyway. Um, save deck, even though I'm never going to play this deck again. Yeah, this is a warning to play. Play the Indatra Fogrando. Anyway, I played Lights Warns, did really well. I uh, lost like three games, four games or something yesterday, so that was really nice to do well. Um, yeah, obviously I played Lightsworn Rulers. Um, I think Patrick Hoban did really well with his deck in the Atlanta regional, I want to say. He got second. So, um, yeah, about a week ago, I wasn't going to come to this regional, and then someone said, because I, I mean, I, I normally just build decks like the day before, try to play something silly, but I kind of just didn't want to do that for this regional, and then the, my friends said they had Light Swarns, and I was like, oh, well, I think someone did, in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, someone did well with Light Swarms. Sweet, that means they're good. And so, um, obviously, my version is a lot different from his, and I'm not saying that, I wasn't saying that to say, like, oh, boy, I went and copied this. I was just, I would... I didn't know Light Swarms were actually good, and then when some literally if someone topped with them, I was just like, sweet, that means they're not terrible, let me go build them. Um, turns out my deck was actually a lot different from his, whatever, uh, I didn't get quite as high as second, whatever, loser, but I still got the mat, so go away. Um, looking at it, uh, I do play a lot of different Light Swarms, so that's good for Judgment Dragon, um, I don't think that's, there's no, I'm not going to compare and contrast, because I don't think he played Raiko or three Lila or Celestia at all, but that's completely irrelevant. Um, also, I only played two Eclipse Wyverns because I only had two. Blah, blah, There's so many things wrong with this deck, but um, if you don't know how to play Light Swarms, uh, first turn, you try to play Solar Recharge, you get to a Curry Bandit, and then you mill, and then you try to set a Beckoning Light, and the next turn, you just OTK your opponent. A very, very few grind games. Um, the games that I lost were three games against Bujins and one game against uh, an anti-meta deck. Um, I lost against the anti-meta deck because they put, flipped a soul recharge on turn one and game two. Uh, game three was pretty easy. And then against Bujins, uh, I don't know why I lost one game, but the other two were just simply bad hands. Like, when you open up double JD, double Quips Wyvern, and double Beckoning Light, you it's very hard to win when your opponent opens um, Kaiser Carl CM Yamato set three. It was just like, I mean, I guess you win. 10 out of 10, good for you. <coughs> for main deck choices, um, I told Doug that I played three Celestia just to uh, joke around with him, but then he believed me. Actually, I actually only played two. Uh, I really like the card. A, because if you save a monster with Necro Gardener or they just don't attack, you can always tribute a Light Sworn. And especially against some, I mean, a lot of decks do set just um, on the first turn. Um, or have back rows that. I mean, I think I blew up a Blackhorn and a, what's it called? Uh, that stupid Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare or whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's really nice to blow up. It's because it's a normal summoned. I didn't really trigger its effect. Um, this does not trigger Gareth, by the way. Uh, someone tried to convince me they did. Also, yesterday, I apologize for being the biggest ass, but I was very mean to my opponents and judges just because literally everyone... Had ter like did not know rulings, and I was getting very frustrated by the end because there were some asinine things. Like, um, if you only have two monsters in graveyard, you can't detach the third with Digesto Emerald to shuffle back all three. I'm sorry. I really wish that like the judge didn't know this ruling, and my opponent was very adamant, and everyone seemed to be in agreement with my judge. I mean, I was I was about to just flip the table. Just I mean, things like that were happening all day, and I mean, fortunately, everyone in the end went in my favor, but it was just very annoying to deal with. Things like that. Um, but I only played two of these. Um, one reason why I played eight of the Light Swarms is for Judgment Dragon. Always, you know, you got to have good targets for Solar Recharge, but you kind of pitch. I mean, if it's not Illumina, 99% of the time you'll pitch it with Solar Recharge. If it's still Illumina, there's a good chance you're still going to pitch it with Solar Recharge, especially if it's on first turn. Um, I played one Wolf. Wolf is actually... I hate sacky cards like this. But Wolf's actually really useful. Um, it's a big level four monster, and it gets milled, or it was never, it never sat around in my hand, and just was a lump. Um, one, yeah, it was, you can pitch it with Illumina, it's really actually kind of handy. 
Um, the main combo that I like with this deck is if you have a level 4 monster banished, preferably Eclipse Wolverine, um, you go Lumina into Lumina into another, like, let's say Gareth or something, stack the two Luminas for Levier. There's Levier over here. And then detach the Eclipse, or sorry, one of the Luminas uh, to bring out the Eclipse Wyvern. Overlay the Wyvern and, let's say, your Gareth or whatever level 4 White Sworn you have together for Lava Vault Chain. Detach the Eclipse Wyvern, which triggers its effect, send, and you'll be able to send, let's say, Red Ox. Hell, if you have an E-Dragon in there, send in the second Eclipse Wyvern or something. So you'll be able to put lots of goodies in your graveyard, banish some good stuff, and then banish both Eclipse Wyverns to get whatever you ha banished via Eclipse Wyverns effect. You get to tutor that straight to your hand, and that's amazing. And then you, ha you have two monsters on the field, and then you have all these boss monsters in your hand, and there's... <coughs> uh, really good. The other combo that I really like in the deck, and again, there's not too terribly many combos, but on a first turn, I went um, set. Uh, I had a set, um, what's this card called? Beckoning Light, one card in hand. I don't remember the name of it. It doesn't matter what it was, it really doesn't. Uh, then I had Lumina, 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 and a Gareth. Um, I milled. Let me use that one, two, three, four. I mean, I milled. It's 15. I milled 15 cards right then and drew actually four off Gareth. And so then I ended up having five cards in hand, four monsters on the field, two Necro Guardians in the graveyard, two E Dragons in the graveyard, two Eclipse of. I mean, it was just. It was just. I mean, I, I did that and I automatically won the next turn. There's nothing my opponent could do. Um, in terms of matchups, uh, Bujins, it's a it's kind of a coin. Not a coin flip between Bujins, but Bujins are a very frustrating matchup because. Um, just because there's certain scenarios where they can open really well, and you can you can brick occasionally in this deck, and so uh, there's a like again I, I bricked against one Bujin player when I game three, which was really sucky. I opened two Beckoning Lights, two Judgment Dragons, two Eclipse Wyverns. It's just I, mean, I couldn't really do anything, so I lost that game. Um, for the side deck, um, I played one Jack Frost. That was I don't, uh, I don't really think hand traps are that good in Light Swarms. But I did like the Jack Frost in here. Um, if I ever played Evil Swarms, I could sit, set an Ophion. That's another counter to that stupid card. Also, since I played an Alucard, I mean, heaven forbid this ever actually happens, but you could possibly hit Jack Frost twice. Nothing interesting about this deck, but or side deck, really. Um, I, mean, this, I cited in these five, like, every game. Uh, the cool thing I played was XYZ Universe. Um, it's very, very, very good. It's a super polymerization for X seeds. You combine their levels and then summon an extra deck monster from your extra deck that's either the combined levels or one less. So you a four and a four can make a Felgrand or a Draco Sack. A three and a four can make a Draco Sack or a number seven, such and such. Um, there's nothing super notable about anything else I played. Um, I mean, the two Celestia was probably the most fun part. I only played one Soul Charge. Um, Nothing too special about that. Uh, I did play a Rota, which I don't I don't know anything about anyone else's deck lists, but I did play a Rota primarily so I could get to Gareth just for, you know, the Lumina thing, because that's always nice to I mean you mill five and then you there's a good chance that you're gonna draw one, especially with so many light swarms. Um so um there's actually against one player, I had five boss monsters in hand and he had four counters face down, and he was actually able to, one by one, take out every count. He blackhorned, he had blackhorn, trapster, treple, warning, and a torrential, and then I just had a fifth boss monster, which was really, I mean, I had two Diablos and three Judgment Dragons, and he was not happy about that, but I didn't care. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um, uh, I, this would not, I don't know what I would do. Don't ask me about Raiden right now, because Raiden, I thought that it wouldn't add anything really to the deck. It was just like, oh, it's just a level four tuner. Raiden and Felice actually changed this deck up a lot, and so I don't know, I really don't know everything that would go into it right now, and it creates a lot more combos, as I was enlightened um, last night about. So I'm sorry that I don't have a future Light Sworn deck, but uh, thanks for watching, and this, is, this card is the, card, the reason that I played the deck, but um, yeah.